Okay, this is Andrew Gray, and welcome to our sixth video in our parabolic trough water heater series. And as you can see, I have all the troughs done. There's four of these troughs now working, and uh, boy, is it really it's it's really working well. The uh, what on a typical summer day here in Texas, it will uh, heat the water in the water heater to about 155 degrees, and then uh, the computer will shut it off and turn the whole uh, array to the north because that's really as hot as you want it to get. Okay, so let me show you some of the features um, that we've got going here. Let me uh, rotate this thing. Got my little computer control. We'll rotate it in the positive direction. There you go. We've got some, uh, we've got, of course, our our vacuum chamber here with the black pipe and our vacuum seal. We've actually got a union here now, a CPVC times brass union that we can take our troughs out without uh, cutting any pipes. Here you can see I've got the cover off our chain drive, a little 12 volt motor here with a little nine tooth gear which rotates the, uh, which rotates the frame. We're going to put a little uh, infrared beam breaker in here. We'll count the rotations and that'll tell us the angle. Right now we've got an inclinometer in there, but we'll have, we're going to switch it to a little infrared beam break counter. Okay, come around here. We've got our, here's our vacuum manifold, which we have finished. There, each, each of them have a T here, a little T that's soldered on the ends, and then a flare fitting. Okay, I think that's good. Let me stop it here. Okay, very good. And here we used to have our counterweight right here for the frame. And thank you, George Flack, for showing us uh, how to put a counterbalance on the uh, trough. So now we have four, six, eight, two and a half pound weights here and this serves both as a counterweight for the frame and a counterweight for the troughs so so now the troughs can be moved without any force whatsoever and, you, and as you can see let me go up here <laughs> up here here we go here's our George Flack um, mechanism here and you can see we've got our little aluminum angle off of here because now that it takes hardly any force and it's working there's no jamming or anything it works great we've got uh, stainless steel end caps on this piece so it's stainless steel on stainless steel so the aluminum was just a little sticky and uh, so now that's working fine and we have of course our stainless steel rod here and you can see our our little uh, uh, switches here for the end. Okay, so let me come down out. <laughs> we'll rotate this around again. There we go. Okay, and we, you can see here, here's how we're going to, uh, we run this hydraulic hose up and around. I've got, uh, I've got this uh, hose covered with black tape so the sun doesn't get on it. And the, uh, the PEX conduit's gonna go in here and, uh, and uh, come around so we won't have to have a joint. And here you can see I've got this uh, uh, thermistor in here, which shows the temperature of the of the frame. And here is our little control box you can see from the side. Okay, now is a good time. See, I had a a single layer end cap, and those end caps you can might be able to see it. They they bent a little bit. Let me stop it. Okay, so. I've done a thicker end cap, so here's you can see a good view. These stay straight, uh, no problems with that. It seems like the, everything is working. I did have to make the 
inner tube's a little longer. And I guess that's about it. Okay, this is Andrew Gray with the sixth video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.